Hello everybody, I'm Nestorm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we got the passenger line that runs out of Ralma through McKelly and Jokmok into uh, Kiruna over there. Built in. We got a train on there. It's running. We have passengers showing up. I'm not exactly sure where that train even is at the moment. Oh, it's, it's on the line. Very good. It has some passengers on board. Even better. All right, and so what we were starting to work on next was freight, in particular for Narvik and Harstad. And I was kind of looking at some options about bringing stuff in from the north here. Um, but I've I've changed my mind. I've made a decision. And what I decided to do is to fire up new industries to begin supplying all of these new cities. So we have like a construction materials plant over here. We have a construction materials plant up there. Uh, we have uh, you know machines factory. We got a lot of the stuff that we need down in this area. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, as I was looking around there to figure out what I wanted to do, I noticed something, uh, an oversight that I have made. And that is that there is a town right here, Elverum that isn't connected to passengers or freight and it's in this upper plains region it's kind of right up on the edge um so we need to fix that shouldn't be an issue So let's go ahead and get that done. So as usual, we're going to hook it to passengers first, and then we're actually going to hook it to freight um, straight away. And it is going to need a station. And what I think we're actually going to try and get away with here is not putting in a tram line in much the same way that we have not actually put any tram passenger trams into Oslo. It probably is getting to a point where we probably need to put one in because we have a good central passenger station. We're going to try and do the same thing over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear out these roads. We're going to grab... Actually, we're going to keep it relatively short, I think. Because this is not going to need a long train, right? Because this is going to be a point-to-point -point, uh, rail service, which I don't tend to like to do, but I don't really have much of a choice. So. Okay, let's drop that in right about there. And it's about as far as its coverage goes, so... I think what we'll also do is try and rework some of this so that it actually makes some semblance of sense. Okay, that's a little bit better. That can hook through there. Because we... I am going to need to eventually put in a tram. Too much slow. So, uh, we have this tools factory. We're going to go ahead and arc this way.
Now we're going to connect it to the station here in Kongsberg. I think. Or do we want to go to Narvik? No, Kongsberg makes the most sense. All right, so we're going to have to modify the station here at Kongsberg. And to do so, we're going to have to tear out some of this. Probably want to rework some of this anyway. Yep, okay. We will help the town actually grow in correctly. All right, let's configure. We're gonna go with a standard. I think we're gonna keep this as era A. Platform. Just for consistency sake. All right, there we go. Now. City Road? Is that what we're going to want to do here? Or two lane? No, four lane, two way. Yep. Now, well, here's the thing is that. This rail line is going to have to come out here and kind of come through here like this. And then it's going to need to split into double track kind of there. Let's let it go to straight and level. Construction not possible. It probably is possible. It is possible. I guess I might as well just go ahead and upgrade this road while I'm at it. Okay, we might need to start editing that uh, tram line, but we, we're not going to do that yet. We're not to that particular point. That's coming soon-ish. We're going to come back and reevaluate all these, these cities.
All right, run a couple of roads through there. All right, there we go. Now, the city should hopefully fill that in. All right. We'll let us do its thing. And what we're going to do is... We can do a curve there that is 180 kilometers per hour. And we're gonna need to back this curve off a little bit. Auto save. Okay, so let's get in here. Let's, um... Smooth it off a little bit. All right. So there we have our line. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create the new line from here to there. Very short line. We're just going to call it the Elvum line. Elvarum. Okay. Um... We should be able to merge that down so then we can actually put your trains on there. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what that train is going to be. Do we have anything that's a multiple? We have the M300 multi unit that carries 20 passengers. Let's put two of them on here. So these are actually going to be our first diesels. They're basically a single car commuter a commuter service. All right, so that's in place. Oh, it's going to need um need signals. I will have to check to make sure the line is oriented correctly. It should be. There's nothing really crazy going on here. Yep, okay. Now, what we need to do... We need to get it food, and we need to get it machines. Thing is, we're bringing food over here. Uh, we're gonna have to push a lot more food through.
That's Kongsberg Deliveries. That's what's actually delivering food. Um, Kongsberg Food. That's the line that should be bringing food in from here. That's not really getting grain, is it? Let's just bring grain there. Is that the only method of getting food? I had to remember what exactly I was doing. Um... No, we're also bringing food through from here. Yes. I think I can probably increase that train. Now the machines are actually not coming through because that's a brand new demand that that town has. Okay. What I could do is just route food in from here. New trams. Um. Is there potentially another source of food? You'd think. There's a food processing plant right there. There's a farm right there. What I could do is try and push grain into here. Push this food to there, and then push food into there, and then we just need to figure out how to get machines here. Um, there's machines there. Lots of machines. Okay. Um, hmm. And this is a single line with a single train on it. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. That's not in range. That's also food processing right there. That's for meat. 
We have lots of available livestock. We're cranking livestock out here. Okay. Now, I am actually considering these as two types of food, right? Yes, I was. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bringing silver into there. If I could get this a little bit closer to that. Um... Not quite enough. Hmm. Yeah, if I could, I want need to shift this station this way a little bit. Not impossible. You know what? No. What we're going to do is we're going to use cargo trams because they're very effective and we already have tram track over here and we're going to upgrade all these roads. That's what we're going to do. All right. I squeeze this in here? I can, in fact, squeeze that in there. Ooh, but that's gonna make it very hard to upgrade the roads. Okay. Upgrade the roads first then. Streets. We need um Urban Expressway. Four lane two way urban expressway. Probably going to need to upgrade um, the trams, especially if I get faster trams. I need to bring. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's going to have collision, so this is going to have to be two-way. Or two-lane. This is going to be four-lane. Okay. Okay, okay. Um... Is that in range? It's not in range. I can probably make this in range. Let's configure this. Let's switch it over to country new. Let's enable that extra entrance. Still not close enough? Yep, 
Is there anything actually in there? No. Well, there's trucks in there. All right, can we get those trucks out of the way? Okay, we're actually waiting for a silver train. I think. Yeah, we're waiting for silver to come through. All right, we just need to get these trucks out of here. Except I don't think we're going to have a spot where we're not going to have any trucks come through here. Um, get out of there. Nope, nope. There's another one in there. We've got too many trucks on this line. And they're perfectly spaced. So there's always... Oh, we'll just kick them out. Okay. All right. So what we need to now do is we need to put this back in. Make it a little bit longer. Make sure it supports electric trams. Drop that in. No, not the highway. The uh, Urban Expressway, I think. What we want. All right. That picked up the silver line. Okay, so that's good. Tram track. If I were to add some street there. No, that's not close enough. Because of course it isn't. By the tiniest amount. Um, hmm. What if I were to do something like that? That would work. Okay. fits under there. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to get a warehouse. Warehouse over here. And yeah, I'm going to wipe out that field. So be it.
Okay. Did I make sure I configured this correctly? Yes. Okay. All right. So now we run. We run tram through there to here. Run said tram through there to here. Right. And so what I can do is I can pick up I can pick up food and bring it back. All right. Well, I think we're at the end of the episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out all of this tram stuff and the way we're going to move all this cargo. Next episode. Because I've got to see where everything might accidentally move. This mold now wants food as well. That, that one's food. So, where are your deliveries going? Yeah. Okay. We're probably going to bring in food through here. It'll go in there. Unless they're not picking up food. I have to figure it out. All right, but yeah, that's going to be for next episode, because that's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, setting up lines. We're going to go there. We're going to upgrade all this stuff. We might need to replace these trucks. Definitely going to need to replace those trucks. Um, because those trucks are slowing down the trams. So, yeah. We'll work on that next episode. So, for now, we'll stop here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.